Hello everyone. Today we are going to conduct the superposition theorem experiment. Okay, this is the circuit diagram of the superposition theorem, practical circuit diagram. When here there are three cases. Total there are three cases. First case is when both the sources are present. First we will conduct the experiment for the case one. When the both the sources are present. When V1 and V2 both are present, we will see the response in this branch. We are seeing the response. In the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor, okay, this response we will find out by using the ammeter. We have to find out the current in this branch 2.2 kilo ohm resistor by using the ammeter. Okay, here let's connect the circuit as per the circuit diagram. For this case one, we have to use the two channels, two RPS supplies. We have to use here. So for this first 1 kilo ohm term, uh, resistor is connected here randomly. This is the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Next, this 1 kilo ohm first terminal is connected to this junction point here okay this 1 kilo ohm second terminal is connected to junction point okay now i am connecting this 2.2 kilo ohm resistor here so for this junction point 1 kilo ohm second terminal this 1 kilo ohm first terminal and 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal are connected to the junction point okay these are all three terminals we should connect vertically here this 1 kilo ohm second terminal this 1 kilo ohm first terminal is already connected now i am connecting the 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal here 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal i am connecting like this okay now r i am connecting these three resistors i connected already now rps positive is connected to 1 kilo ohm first terminal this is called as a rps positive this rps positive the rps positive and i am connecting to 1 kilo ohm first terminal 1 kilo ohm first terminal okay and rps negative okay here rps negative rps negative is connected to ground so this is called as a rps negative rps negative is connected to ground i am connecting rps negative to the ground so this channel 1 is connection is completed now we will connect the ammeter this ammeter positive is connected to 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal here ammeter positive is connected to 2.2 kilo ohm second terminal so this is the this is called as ammeter positive is connected to 2.2 kilo ohm second terminal as is both are connected we should connect vertically next if you see the connection here ammeter negative is connected to ground here ammeter negative is connected to ground a meter negative is connected to ground next we will connect the second channel channel to here rps positive v2 we are connecting the supply voltage to here rps positive is connected to 1 kilo ohm second terminal so this is called as rps positive is connected to 1 kilo ohm second terminal here okay next rps negative is connected to ground Okay, here RPS negative is connected to ground. RPS negative is connected to ground. Okay, this is the total circuit connection of the superposition theorem. Okay, now here we will apply the voltage and we will see the response. Now we will increase the two supply voltages. It is V1 and it is a V2. Now First, I am taking V1 is equal to 5 volts. I am taking and V2 is equal to I am taking V2 is equal to 10 volts. Okay, when V1 is 5 volts and V2 is equal to 10 volts, we will get the response is 2.85. This is the current passing through 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. Now v1 i will increase from 5 to 10 volts and v2 i will increase the voltage from 10 to 15 volts when v1 is equal to 10 volts and v2 is equal to 15 volts we will get the response is 14.75 milliamps of the response we will get now i will increase the voltage from 10 to 15 volts of the channel 1 v1 and V2, I will increase the voltage from 15 to 20 volts. 
okay when v1 is equal to 15 volts and v2 is equal to 20 volts we are getting the response is 6.61 milliamps of the current we are getting now in the case 2 the case 2 this is the circuit case 2 case 2 we will remove the v2 because when v1 is present that is only the case 2 here v1 is present v2 we will make it zero okay remove this rps connection and connect one kilo ohm second terminal is connected to the ground here here i am taking all the voltage zero okay i am removing this connection okay and with one wire i will connect this one kilo ohm second terminal to the ground okay here two point this one kilo ohm second terminal and this wire is connected to ground so this is a circuit connection now for this in the second case i will take v1 is equal to 5 volts okay v1 is equal to 5 volts i am taking when v1 is equal to 5 volts and v2 is equal to 0 we are getting the response is 0 0.95 milliamps of the current we are getting now i will increase the voltage from 5 to 10 volts now i will increase the voltage from 5 to 10 volts when v1 is equal to 10 volts and v2 is equal to 0 volts we are getting the response is 1.85 milliamps now i will increase the v1 to 10 to 15 volts now i will increase the voltage from 10 to 15 volts v1 is equal to 15 volts and v2 is equal to 0 volts now we are getting the response is 2.81 milliamps okay now case 3 case 3 is v1 is equal to 0 and v2 is present and we will see the response across this 2.2 kilo resistor the same connection just we will remove the v1 connection we will remove the v1 connection and we will connect the rps to the this 2.2 kilo ohms here is this 2.2 kilo ohm or this v2 pass 2 is connected to 1 kilo ohm second terminal and rps negative is connected to ground here it is a 1 kilo ohm second terminal is connected with the rps pass 2 and the rps negative is connected to ground next we will connect this side this connection this 1 kilo ohm first terminal is connected to ground now i am connecting 1 kilo ohm first terminal is connected to ground terminal okay this is the connection for the case 3 in the case 3 i am taking v1 is equal to 0 now i will apply the v2 voltage first i am taking v2 is equal to 10 volts now I am taking V2 is equal to 10 volts. When V2 is equal to 10 volts, we are getting the response is 1.89 milliamps of the current we are getting. When V1 is equal to 0 and V2 is equal to 10 volts. Now next condition is V1 is equal to 0 and V2 is equal to 15 volts. I am increasing the voltage from 10 to 15 volts. Now I am increasing the voltage from 10 to 15 volts. It is 0 and it is 15. V2 is equal to 15. We are getting the response is 2.83 milliamps of the current we are getting. Now in the third case we will take V1 is equal to 0 and V2 is equal to 20 volts. Okay, V1 is equal to 20 volts. We are getting the response is 3.78 milliamps of the current we are getting. Okay, this is the case 3 condition. Okay, now if we observe the all the values, what are the values? we got up to now here this is the case one when v1 and v2 both are present we are getting the responses here now if we if you see the second condition when v1 is present and v2 is equal to zero these are the responses we got when this is the case three when v2 is present and v1 is equal to zero when, when v1 is zero and v2 is present these are the responses we got from the reciprocity theorem this response we are assuming that it is i this response we are assuming that it is i1 and this response is we are assuming that it is i2 according to the reciprocity theorem we have to verify that when the both the sources are present the response is i and when the only v1 is present that response is i1 when only v2 is present the response is i2 
i should be equal to i1 plus i2. If you see here, if you see the first line, 2.77 is equal to 0 0.8 plus 1.85. We will get the answer. Okay, if you want to verify for the 10, 9, 15 volts, 4.8 is equal to 1.9 plus 2.77. We will get. Similarly, 6.5 is equal to 2.8 plus 3.71. Okay, hence the superposition theorem is verified. Now we, um, we will take one value. 2.77 is equal to 0 0.8 plus 1.85. So 2.77 is approximately equal to 2.77 milliamps we will get. So this is about the superposition theorem.